The Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, or ANWR for short, is the last true Arctic wilderness in North America. A landscape of overwhelming scope and breathtaking beauty, where an amazing variety of animals thrives. Recently, President Trump's administration finalized its plan to open up part of the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge to oil and gas development. Is it true that you have ANWR in the bill? I said, I don't know, who cares? What is, what is that? The decision puts this unique piece of American coastline at risk of being damaged forever. Can the Arctic wilderness survive this attack? ANWR covers 80,000 square kilometers of untouched Arctic habitat located in the far northeastern corner of Alaska. In 1960, President Dwight D. Eisenhower designated this region a protected area. And in 1980, President Jimmy Carter expanded the area of land protected, giving it the name Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. Most of the land was designated a protected wilderness, excluding a substantial part of the coastline. Due to political pressure, the so-called 1002 area was left unprotected. Why? Because it's believed to contain billions of barrels of oil. And ever since the 80s, the 1002 area has been the center of heated political debate. For decades, the American public agreed that the remaining coastal plain should be left in its natural state. This belief was supported by political action from both parties. But in December 2017, the efforts were threatened by an amendment to the 2017 tax bill. This is a bright day for Alaska. This is a bright day for America. Right. The Republican-led Congress voted to lift the 40-year-old ban on energy development. And now, three years later, the Trump administration is opening up Anwar to drilling. It's a move that will allow the auctioning off of oil and gas rights in the heart of one of the nation's most iconic wild areas. For thousands of years, giant herds of caribou have roamed these mountains and grasslands. Every spring, they journey more than a thousand kilometers to find the best possible place to give birth to their calves. For caribou, the Arctic coastal plain is their most important calving ground. Anwar is often referred to as America's last great wilderness. It's home to more than 270 species of wildlife. Polar bears and musk oxen live here year round. Wolves are out on the prowl. A golden eagle circles the sky to find food for its chicks, and Arctic fox pups tussle with their siblings. Millions of birds arrive each year to nest on the coastal plains, like these snow geese. The long hours of daylight in spring and summer provide energy for hundreds of insects, flowers, grasses, mosses, and lichens to flourish. With winter taking over for nearly nine months, temperatures can drop to 60 degrees below zero. For polar bears, this is the time to replenish their energy reserves and go hunting on the ice. But the ice is vanishing. As the region warms up, sea ice, snow, and permafrost are all melting. Here in the Arctic, the climate is changing twice as quickly as anywhere else on Earth. The polar bears in the Arctic are already suffering severely from these environmental developments. The population in northern Alaska has recently declined by almost 40 percent. The Arctic refuge is an important habitat for this species, which relies on its coastal plain to raise their young. Now, the Arctic's polar bears are doubly threatened. The U.S. Department of Interior has approved an oil and gas leasing plan that opens up the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge for drilling. Before the drilling, seismic surveys will take place. To test for potential oil and gas reserves, high-pressure vibrations are sent into the ground. The equipment used to do this is mounted on 40-ton trucks, which can only be used during the winter when the ground is frozen enough to support their weight. 
This is exactly the time of year that polar bear families spend hidden in their underground dens. The cubs risk freezing to death if they leave the warm shelter before they're three months old. But the noise pollution could scare them out earlier. The land surrounding the refuge is already scarred by oil exploration, and the neighboring Prudhoe Bay oil field is expanding ever closer. Hundreds of thousands of barrels are extracted there every day. The protected area itself might soon face the same fate. The preparations to auction off drilling leases are being pushed forward, and lease sales could start as early as the end of 2020. Yet no one knows how many companies will actually bid for rights to explore the Arctic refuge. Five of the largest US banks have already said they won't finance any ANWR project. Opening the refuge to development would be a severe step backward. In an era in which the world should be burning less oil, trying to stop global warming and protecting threatened species, destroying one of the last remaining areas of true wilderness is the most self-destructive act imaginable. Hi there. I hope this video could get you a better insight into the fight around Enver. Trump's decision will not only affect the US, it will affect all of us. So let's support initiatives like Protect the Arctic. You can find the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe.